Let's look at the inverse of a function graphically. So let's say we have this function f of x equals 2x plus 5. And we want to find the inverse of this function. So what do we mean by the inverse? Well, in this instance here, let's say we pick the point 5. When we go to the point 5, we go up to the function. And when we meet it there, we go across to 15. Now what the inverse function does is it takes the 15 and it maps us back to 5. So the inverse function, the value at 15, will be a height 5. So this point here will be one of the points on the inverse function. So let's look at another point. If we have the point 0, 5, then the inverse of this point here will be 5 and we will go up 0. So this is another point. So let's put in the line y equals x for the moment. So that's the line y equals x. Now in order to find the inverse of a function, we can see that whenever we go up along 5 here, we're up 15. So now what we want to do is we want to go along 15 and up 5. So the x coordinate becomes the y coordinate and the y coordinate becomes the x coordinate. So that is, we reflect in this line y equals x. So we're going to take a reflection on this line. So you can see here that if I was to draw a straight line from this point here down to the line, I would reflect it from here down to the new point, which would be a point here. So let's say, see the actual inverse function. So this is the inverse function of this red one. So the purple one here is the inverse of the red and the green one is the line y equals x. And you can see here, if we went up to our point 5, 15, we can see that that's going to map to a point 15, 5. So let's talk our way through this. We're going to go along 5 and up 15. And the inverse, we're going to go the opposite direction. We're going to go along 15 and up 5.